She lives differently than most people you have ever seen. She has never cut down her hair ever since she was born. She says she brings dead people back to life. She married seven husbands and says she might add more if elders ask her to do so. Interestingly, she lives peaceful with all those seven husbands. How did she manage to do this? Do they live in harmony? May it a woman who married and lives with seven husbands. This shocked everyone. Marriage is legally or formally recognized as the union of two people as partners, mainly a man and a woman. In many cases, we have always heard of a man marrying more than one wife. As of today, we we'll bring you a story of a woman who married not one, not two or three, but seven husbands. It's known as polyandry. Polyandry is a form of polygamy in which a woman takes two or more husbands at the same time. She's a traditional doctor, meaning she gives people traditional medicine. Traditional medicine is the sum total of the knowledge, skill and practices based on the theories and beliefs and experiences indigenous to different cultures, whether explicable or not, used in the maintenance of health as well as in the prevention, diagnosis, improvement or treatment of physical and mental illness. She says she uses power from the dead to heal other people. She believes she can also bring back life of people after death. I'm the only child at home. This hair of mine is from the family. Even my grandmother never shaved her hair. And that's where I get my superpowers from. Think you have ever heard of the biblical icon, Samson, who was renowned for the prodigious strength that he derived from his uncut hair. She says that even her neighbors don't understand how one can marry more than one husband. They are always shocked by her lifestyle. Here, she explains why she chose to have many husbands. As she says, she did this so as to avoid punishment from the elders. As you know, I don't control myself. And living with many husbands was an order from the elders. That was when I was given these superpowers. The elders commanded me to make sure and produce more and more children. And I was told I should not have more than one child on one man. And that explains the reason why I had to marry more than six husbands. It was something strange to my mind and shocking when I had this. But I had to comply with these orders. If not, I would get seriously punished. After my heavy punishment, I had to agree with the elders to make their wish come true. And now, when one hears my story, they are shocked of how one can live with so many husbands at one time. The woman says she's not the only one who chooses these husbands. Instead, she's directed to a husband by the spiritual elders. And it doesn't take too long to convince him to be her husband. Sometimes when I'm asleep, the elders bring me a vision of a man. They do that after learning of someone's behaviors. After having such a vision, what I do next is look for that person. And most times, people in my vision are not always far from this area. So I call them up here and we talk. Due to my spiritual powers, no one can reject me. When I ask them to be my husband, they all agree. No one has ever rejected my proposal. When asked if they all live in one house, she says no. Instead, she built houses for each of her husband. So far, she has built seven homes for these seven husbands. And she adds that if the elders tell her to marry more, she has no problem of having more than seven husbands. When it's time for making love, it depends on who I want. 
am the one who chooses where to sleep and make love. Because I build each and every one a house, I visit whoever I want, and I satisfy their need. There is no husband who has ever complained about anything, and none of them can dare try cheating on me. My superpowers can show it to me before it happens, and before one thinks of it. And I have a timetable for each and every one. As there are seven, each one has a day that I visit his home. So far, I have produced six children from six husbands, and there remains one husband. People out here fear me so much that they can't even talk to me. They wonder how I live with all these seven men, and wonder how they have never ever had a single quarrel between us. But I'm just a normal person like anyone else. Though my superpowers can protect me and there is no one who can attack me. We took time and talked to the seventh husband as others were busy doing other activities. He tells us what it feels like becoming a husband to someone who has more and more husbands. Well, we did not fall in love for so long. She's a doctor here. She has treated a million sick people and we all love and cherish what she does. Once she took the phone, called, then invited me to her house and then proposed me and said she wants me to be her husband. It was time for me to make a family, so I was happy for the proposal and then said yes. She's doing well and doing everything for us. And surprisingly, having other men here increased our love for each other. We don't have jealous for one another. One of the reasons we love her so much is her kindness and care. She respects us and treats us as men, which is different to what other people say. Having found her here at home, which is also the office at the same time, she showed us a glimpse of what she can do to people. When treating people, she asks the elders for the support and they also respond and tell her what to do. Our capacity to draw happiness from aesthetic objects or material goods in fact seems critically dependent on a first satisfying or more important range of emotional or psychological needs. Among them, the need for understanding, for love, expression and respect. All happiness or unhappiness solely depends upon the quality of the object which we are attracted by love. Thank you for watching. I'm Elijah and this is Afrimax English. Remember to subscribe.